back to another episode of the George Mann's YouTube channel. I'm Terry Massey here again with George Mann's and today, George, we're going to talk about the Alberta Prosperity Certificates. Correct. What are they about? They're something they're related to the Depression in the 1930s in Western right. Canada. Right. And this was an initiative of the Alberta government mm -hmm. to help alleviate some of the burden on the residents of Alberta at that time. That's what they thought it would do. In 1936, the Social Credit Government of Alberta decided that they would try and alleviate uh, some of the uh, worst parts of the Depression. People didn't have jobs, there was no money circulating. So they came up with an idea to issue Alberta Prosperity Certificates. Uh, it was, to me, it's uh, voodoo economics. It, it didn't work. It was a horrible failure, but it's an interesting part of Canadian and Albertan um, history. In 1936, the government uh, passed a um, Alberta Prosperity uh, Certificate Act, which allowed them to issue and print and distribute um, paper money um, in 25 cent denominations, in one dollar denominations, and in five dollar denominations. And for whatever reason, they only issued the one dollar notes. And I'll, I'll give you an idea, a reason why I consider this to be voodoo economics. Um, you, you had to, to make this thing worth something, you had to, every week for 104 weeks, meaning two years, you had to buy a one cent stamp <laughs> and stick it on there. And, and when we show the close up of this, And it, after we'll two years, how they they, 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 would, they would give you a dollar, but you had spent a dollar four, and all the time and energy to do this. So it didn't work very well. Um, it only lasted about a year. Um, there was a hue and cry, and and uh, particularly from several newspapers in Alberta, they 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 told people to boycott this. It was really bad for the merchants because somebody would come into your store. And this has 21 stamps on it, and they would say, "I want to buy 21 cents worth of stuff. Here you go." Well, now, 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 now the merchant has to buy all the rest of these stamps to make it worth something. To make make it worth something, and they're still going to lose four cents at the end. Was this modeled on anything else that they'd ever heard of, or was this well, just was like? Just They'd been, they came out of prohibition and got a little too imbibed and decided that this was a great well, idea. Well, they were very, extremely conservative and this was one way that they thought money would circulate. It certainly di it, it did, but it wasn't good for anybody who bought these things. Okay. Um, and they're, they're, they're quite interesting. So they were, they were worth a dollar uh, two years from when they were issued. Mm -hmm. And it was issued in uh, 1936 in August. So in August 1938, it would be worth a dollar. It would be worth a dollar. If you had all the stamps on it. Exactly. And if you had less, well, you got less money. So uh, a lot of these were issued to government, to public government employees as part of their pay. And so it, it, it was not a, a very good thing, but it's an interesting part of Canadian history. And one of the things that's interesting is it's got William Aberhart, the, the, the uh, Premier of the province's signature on, on all of them. Oh wow. And, and any, I always ask this question when we do the videos, is there any idea of how many of these went into circulation? A uh, quarter of a million. 250,000 exactly. Okay. And only 19,639 uh, were, were redeemed. 19,000 out of <laughs> 250,000. Less than 1% Less ever redeemed. Wow. And what about the stamps? Do they are they out there in the ether? Do yes, you can. I, I've owned stamps by themselves. They all there are also sheets. So you could buy an entire. Sheet. How they would issue the sheets yeah. to the retailer? Yeah. Who who were the retailers that would distribute these stamps? Were they only government re, like government outlets that would do it, or would it you I, I would go assume, down to the? I would assume that general could, store. I would assume you could get them in stores because if you were in small town, there there wouldn't be a, a government office anywhere near them. And I think you said it earlier, I'm just going to clarify this. So Social Credit Party in Alberta, that's like the precursor to their modern day conservative party, right? Yeah, some of them went into... A little bit more farther right, like if uh, for our American viewers, it'd almost be Tea Party economics, far right kind of mm -hmm. on the spectrum with it. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> quite interesting, but beautiful note. Like the workmanship on yeah. it is. is and like, these were printed in Alberta. And uh, how did they? How did they prevent fraud with them? Or was there? Well, there. You know, I I don't know, but it it's not something that you know you had to get the stamps. Yeah. To buy the stamp. That was the valuable part. Was the stamps. The stamps. So yeah, if even if you came into a retailer with nothing on it, it had matured to 1938. There's no stamps. It was just a piece of paper. Right. Wow. Um, and it did nothing for the economy of Alberta no. in the in the 30s. No. I, but I guess all of the economies in Western Canada, when they were going through that depression, um, they had their different ways of dealing with mm -hmm. it. And this is it, it's a stark contrast for I guess for the provinces of how each of them dealt with it. But this is a very interesting and unique take on it. Um, what what in the collecting circuit? What are these? Are they are these sought after? Or are these? Oh sure, particularly by people from Alberta. But there's you know I've sold lots of lots to people all over Canada. And any any overseas interest in these? Um, yeah, oh yeah. There's some Americans that come in. There'll be a few people in the rest of the world that collect them. But I, I know that some West some Western Canadian um, niche things get draw interest from Europe. So that's why I was just asking about the interest in them. Anything else we should know about them? No, I just find it an interesting part of Canadian history, and it's you know they're not particularly expensive, you know, so. What would it, what would it value on a certificate? One like this would probably be about one hundred and forty bucks. Okay, and if you had one with all the stamps on it, is it worth more? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's worth about each stamp is worth about two bucks by itself. Oh, okay. So you worth more. Perfect. Um, thank you for joining us. Okay. Perfect.